Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are trying new makeup. These are things that are new to me. I've never tried them before, so I thought I was like, you know what? Let's try them out together on camera. They are all face products. So we've got foundation, we have a powder, we got some concealer, we even have a highlighter. I know, I know. I just, I don't know what's gotten into me. But I was like, you know what? Since I want to base it on all new face situations, I decided let me step outside of my box, my comfort zone, and test out a highlighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face really quick. This is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. Y'all, if you have not tried this, I talk about it all the time. You need it in your life. It is good. It is so good. For foundation, we are using this new NARS Velvet Stick here. Now, I know, I said I wasn't buying any more foundations and that I was going to get samples. However, in my past or purchase, I was talking about this and since this is in stick form, you can't really get a sample of it. And I figured, you know what, it's NARS. I bought the Fenty Beauty, that foundation is that's big. I love that foundation. And so I figured between my Fenty Beauty and this one because I'm going to toss away. What do I got over there? I have two foundations on my vanity that I need to throw away. So I'm thinking between my Fenty Beauty and this one. This is this is going to be it. But we'll see. We'll see. So my shade is Macau. And I know this other side over here is for touching up, which I don't touch up my makeup during the day. So that won't be an issue. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Oh, I did swatch it in store on my tattoo. This is full coverage. Let me show you. It covered my tattoo 100%. So can you guys see that? Covered. So I thought, hmm, pretty cool. So I'm just going to put this on one side of my face. I am going to use the Beauty Blender. Going on, it goes on super, super easy. The coverage is nice. It seems to dry down quickly. I don't know. It's supposed to be a soft matte finish. I like the shade. I'm still a little bit upset with NARS. I've been upset with NARS for about three years. Um, when they discontinued the sheer matte, that was my jam. And then they came out with the Luminous All Day. I don't like that one. I don't like the Sheer Glow. I have the Tinted Moisturizer one. Not, no, not the Tinted Moisturizer. The, not, there's, they have a, mo the Tinted Moisturizer and they have like a matte velvet situation. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I just like lost the thought, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Let me show you really quick. Velvet Matte Skin Tint. This one. I don't know. The shades for this one are wonky. This, eh, hmm, nah, it's all, it's all right. I should have, honestly, I should have took it back because I don't use it nearly as much as I should. And I'm leaving my under eyes blank because I have a new concealer to try. I have never seen this concealer. I have never heard of it. I've never heard anyone talk about it. So I'm kind of like, what, what gives? What's up with this? This is very light. I can't feel it on my face at all. I know sticks can be scary for oily skin. However, I figure with the weather changing, well, the weather was changing around here, but um, it has converted to a solid 90 degrees. At one point, we were 70 with all the rain and the hurricanes. If anyone out there is watching and, you know, you're dealing with hurricane situations or earthquakes, I'm praying for you guys. The world right now is, it's looking like we're in shambles, but do not fear, okay? And let me stop before I start preaching because, you know, that's not what we're here for. We're here to try new makeup. Okay, so looking at it, it's supposed to be a soft matte situation. I'm looking at my viewfinder and I am feeling like I'm feeling a ways right now. I'm feeling like this looks very, very um, dewy. I wasn't expecting it to look this dewy. Um, I don't know if it's because my lighting is super, super bright. But I feel like um, the shade looks a little ashy. I'll probably do a voiceover in like a couple of seconds once I see it, when I edit. I'm editing and um, it doesn't look horrible as I'm watching it back. However, I'm not, I'm not that into it. Um, 
once you blend it out, I definitely, I feel like this is, it gives you coverage. It's a medium coverage. Um, is it a full coverage? Once you start blending it out, I feel like the coverage does sheer down. Of course, you could use a brush. I never use a brush. That's not what I typically do on a day-to-day -day basis. So yeah, that's, that's that. First impression, not really all that into it. Moving right along, okay, so this bad boy, I got some drugstore stuff. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Highlighting Concealer. I have never seen this, I have never heard of it. You guys, let me know what's up if you have heard of it. I have no idea. So we're gonna see, it just caught my attention because I was like, highlighting concealer? Is it because like the rage of highlighting, you know, everyone's taking their concealer and you know, it was like, oh yeah, let's highlight our faces with this. So that was very, very smart, like business and advertising move for them. However, I mean, you can highlight with anything. You know what I mean? So let, let's see. I probably should have already opened it. And my shade is in deep. There's another shade that's deeper than this. Hello, Maybelline, come on. There's a dark shade as well. Okay, so this is a twist situation here. So we're gonna twist this up. I wasn't able to swatch the shade, so the dark definitely looked like it would be too dark for me. I do not like the way this is looking on camera. Good grief. I hope this isn't a bust. Eek, because my eye makeup, needs a good base. Let me see. Mm. Mm. I think that NARS might be going back. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, no, 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 that's not too dark. Let, let's see. No, not too dark. But I think that might be a touch too much. Oh, okay. Hmm. 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 Okay. Maybe... But I feel like, uh, see, I think this is one of those situations where the dark would have been too dark. I mean, it does say highlighting, so, well, I mean, let's see. It, it might be the new movement for me, who knows? This is like way too much, way too much. So far, it is um, trying out new face products. <laughs> well, I feel like we're on the struggle bus, but that's okay. That's okay. Hmm. Well, it does look bright. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm liking that. I was a little nervous about the shade because I do not like a super, super bright under eye area. However, this might be the plug. Hello. Okay. So I should have got two of these because this is going to run out quickly. It was $10, but Maybelline products were buy one, get one half off. So I have another Maybelline product sitting over here too. So Ulta, I might go back to Ulta and grab another one of these because on site, I like it. I haven't decided if I want to set, oh, my beauty blender is starting to fall apart. No, I gotta get a new one. I haven't decided if I want to set my entire face with this yet. I'm gonna just set up under my eyes. Oh, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, 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 got too much. Okay. I feel like all that highlighting I did is gone. Hmm. Hmm. And this is super, super peachy. <sighs> hmm. I think I might just sabotage myself, y'all. Let me see here. Oh. Okay, so I was really wanting this to work out for me, but I don't think. I just figured pressed powder, that's what I do in the winter time. I use a pressed powder to set up under my eyes over a loose powder just simply because I'm just dry.
All right, so after playing with it, I realized this is a finishing powder. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the Makeup Forever Ultra HD finishing powder in the trans, not the translucent, it's white. It's supposed to be translucent and it's loose. A lot of people aren't a fan of that one because they try to use it like the Laura Mercier and you can't do that with that one because you will get flashed. It is a finishing powder. It's used to help finish and smooth the skin. This is the same thing. However, it is just in a pressed form and they have this in a pressed form with the white one, the banana shade and the peach shade. I went with the peach shade because I thought that would work better for my skin tone. However, the peachiness, it, it did kind of pick up. You can't see it on camera that well, but in person, I could see the peachiness up under my eyes. How to use, that's what we want. Apply pressed powder with artesian brush, picking up a very small amount. I did not pick up a very small amount. Okay, that's where she went wrong. That's where she went wrong. We're not gonna give up yet. I did like the brightness that I had up under my eyes before I slapped on all this peach powder, but it's okay. So it said a very small amount, and I think this is gonna be a learning curve for me with this powder, because I've never used a powder like it. Powder, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So I don't have any new bronzer, just simply because I can't find a good bronzer that's worth trying. And then we're gonna put on a touch just a touch of blush. Where's my favorite blush? This is my favorite blush right now. This is not new. Wet n Wild, another drugstore product. Mellow Wine. I mean, it's just a nice flush of color. If you're not into blush or you're scared of blush, this is a good color to check out. I think this blush is like three bucks or so. Just enough. All right, and then the last face product that I have if you watch me, if you know me, you're gonna be shocked. Highlighter. Yeah, I know. So, I was like, why not? So yeah, everyone talks about it. It's a metallic highlighter, so I'm already skeptical. I'm already thinking I won't like it. I already have it in my mind that I won't like it. So, let's see, let's grab a fan brush. Let me just swatch it. Sweet Jesus, Lord have mercy. This is just, I mean, this screams, hey pores, hey texture, what up acne, nah. But okay, this is probably the most negative video I've ever done. Sorry guys, but I'm, I'm just being honest. I'm giving you my honest thoughts. It's just makeup, you know what I mean? It ain't that deep. Cause I'm about to wash this all off anyway. Oh no, woo, no, that's too much. Mm-mm. Whoa. Yeah, this is definitely not my steez. However, oh my gosh. This is chunky? Is it chunky or is it just my texture skin? I mean, on camera, I'm not gonna lie. On camera, I'm like, yes, looks all right. In person, mm. I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, I am all finished up. Finished up with my eyeliner, threw a lip on, and this is what my face is looking like. Ooh, I feel like I might have set myself up for the mean kill here because I am not exactly loving my face makeup. I love my eyes, my eyes are popping. However, I just really, really wish that I would have used my Fenty Beauty foundation for this because this did not turn out the way that I thought it would, and it's not that I think that the foundation is bad. I'm not liking the foundation on my skin. I feel like the NARS foundation, the Velvet Matte Stick foundation is actually a very dewy foundation. Like I have never really applied this much. I've never put on a foundation, set it with a powder, and then felt so oily. Like I feel like I look super, super dewy, which is if this is what I'm looking like and it's only been 15 minutes, that lets you know that at work, it's gonna be a slippery mess. So just for good measure, I'm gonna toss on a little bit of my Sasha Buttercup powder just to see if we can, you know, soak up some of this oiliness here because I did use the Makeup Forever pressed powder, but I feel, I mean, it says it's oil controlling and I don't feel very oil controlled whatsoever. <sighs> yeah, I don't know guys. 
I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling the foundation, not even with setting it, I'm really not feeling the look of that. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this and we're going to drop it right home back in its home so we can take her back to Sephora. Um, next product here, this Makeup Forever powder. I'm not sure about this. I think I, well, I know for a fact I got way too much. I used it and then went back and read the directions and it said use a light hand. I'm gonna give this one more try. No, I'll try it out throughout the weekend, and if I still can't get it to do what I want it to do, then I'll just re I'll just exchange it for the Kat Von D powder that I wanted at the very beginning. But I figured, let me try this because it's priced and it's peach and it'll be great. No, <laughs> but this this is a hit. This um, Maybelline Dream Lumi highlighting concealer. Before I aggressively set my under eyes with this, I was digging this. So this, for sure, this is going to go right here in my little concealer jar because we're going to keep that one. And then this highlighter, oh, I don't like it on me. On camera, guys, it looks great. However, if you're someone like me that has texture, acne, large pores, you you get up on me it just intensifies all of that it is metallic i'm not a highlighter person for that reason because i do have troubled skin however if you got like baby butter bottom smooth skin girl you good this will work for you all right guys so that is going to wrap up this video testing out new face products i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below if you think there's a product out there that i should try and i will see you guys in my next video bye